What's up everybody, Eddie Soundhead here with a bit of a recap video that I'm going to do here for the Martinsville race. The first data 500 was absolutely insane. It was a crazy race, good and bad, up and down. What a phenomenal race, I'll say. It was one of the best races of the season. I was thoroughly entertained throughout that race, and I'll go a little bit into why. So I'll start out first. Obviously, as most of you guys know, I'm a big Brad Kozlowski fan, been a big Brad Kozlowski fan for a long, long time. Great to see him back in what I would consider championship form. He was doing a great job today. It is a short track. He's been strong on the short tracks this year. He's been doing a good job on those uh, smaller tracks. So it's good to see him back up front and doing well. And it was just good to see him win a couple stages, get some points, especially when it's so crucial right now to try and get into that round of four and try and get a spot in the championship hunt at Homestead. It is so important to get those points into window stages. Meant a lot for his hopes to get to Homestead. So that was really good for me. I was very happy about his performance today. But that obviously is not the crowning most important moment of the race. Let's fast forward a little bit to, I believe it was the third to last restart. We got Chase Elliott on the inside. Brad Keselowski, who is the control car, is on the outside. Why did he pick the outside? I do not know. I think that was the biggest mistake Brad made all day, and I believe it cost him the race because Chase Elliott dive bombs into turn three and just pushes Brad straight up the track all the way up into the marbles. Brad loses like six or seven positions and basically loses out on his chance to win the race. You know, it's good hard racing, it happens. Was it the cleanest thing to do? Obviously not, but you know what, it happens. You know, obviously it wasn't intentional, so we move on. Then, Denny Hamlin catches Chase Elliott going into turn three, bumps him in the back, Chase Elliott spins out and hits the wall. His day is basically done. He hits the wall, pancakes the side of the car, lots of damage, Chase Elliott, is hot he is mad then they set up the final restart Kyle Busch makes his way to the point wins the race in a sort of almost photo finish it was a pretty close finish between him and Truex and a massive crash going across the line Hamlin spins himself across Blaney's nose and causes a pile up and then the cooldown lap it all kicks off Chase Slade slams into Denny and shoves his car up against the wall gets out they have a little shouting match in each other's face didn't look like things got very physical. Looked like we were just yelling at each other. A lot of hand gestures. No, nothing bad. Just a lot of, you know, speaking with hands. So, a lot of people are pissed off about Danny Hamlin's move. Obviously, it was dirty. Again, I don't think it was intentional. I don't believe it was intentional. Uh, you know, I'm kind of neutral towards Danny Hamlin as I am with Chase Elliott. So, both of those moves I thought were that were made that were somewhat controversial... I thought they were okay, just hard racing moves. A lot of people are upset about them. So that's just my own personal opinion. I thought it was just good hard racing. Sure, it took away the chance for Chase Elliott to win another race. He, he's still searching for that first win. I know it's coming soon, guys. I know it is. Don't worry about all you Chase Elliott fans. It's on its way. But basically, that's just my opinion. I thought it was a good race. I thought it was a great race. Lots of hard racing. One of the best races of the season. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So tell me, what did you guys think? What do you agree with or disagree? And, uh, yeah, basically just let me know your thoughts about this race in the comments. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.